the conversation of good black fathers, um, you know, it doesn't happen enough. It's very it. far, few, and in between. This reading space is beautiful, and Harlem is just the beginning. Ten more on the way in cities across the country. For you, being from Philly, did you have spaces like this growing up? And if so, why are they so important? The Boys and Girls Club, um, that was very popular in Philadelphia, PA. There was one in nice town that I went to, and that acted as our, you know, our little creative space. Yep. That was the after school hangout for kids to do your homework, pick up on an extracurricular activity. They did a great job of providing learning materials, whether it was books, um, whether it was, you know, supplies for school. They did their best in just raising money and uh, doing as much as they could to show the kids in that community that there was a, yeah. a added component of education and help. Mm. Yeah, and reading is so important for, for learning for kids. But even as adults, we're always learning. Absolutely. Um, as a parent, what's something that you've learned from your own kids? As kids teach you how to be happy, right? Uh, yeah. Kids are just, they're happy. They're so free. There's not a care in the world other than the want for love. And if they have that and are surrounded by that, they're smiling nonstop. Um, I think that's what I get the most from my kids. It's just like remembering that you should take the time out to really make sure that you're being happy, that you're being present, and that you're aware, right? Yeah. Like don't get don't get too lost in in the world of attempt and and you know uh, doing. Like mm -hmm. sometimes it's good to just be in a moment of yeah. being happy. In your stand up, a lot of your jokes are about being a dad and about mm -hmm. your kids. Why is parenting so funny? I mean, that's my that's my life, right? So for quite some time, that's what I was into. That's what I wanted to talk about because. Being a dad, being a husband, there was a lot of funny surrounded by that. Um, this particular hour is is not that. This one's a little, this is a little edgier. Whether this campaign with the children's place or the children's books that you write, mm -hmm. um, even the the portrayals of black dads and father mm -hmm. figures, you are moving the needle when it comes to impactful, positive representation. Mm -hmm. Are you very intentional about what projects you decide to take Absolutely. on? Absolutely. I'm, I'm a brand, so yeah. you have to be protective and aware of your brand and the alignment um, that you're that you're associating yourself with. Like, what do you what do you what are you aligning yourself with, and what's the why? You know, I think Children's Place is is doing it right, right? Yeah. They're making smart decisions, um, you know, and they've been aware, right? It's not something that they just started doing. They've been doing it. Yeah. And when you take your money and you start putting your money back into communities, and you start making sure that people see, hey, we're not just a brand, right? We don't just sell children's clothes. Well, you know what, we wanna do more. We wanna make sure that we're putting back into kids as well. So yeah. creating these learning centers, making sure that they're putting it in the places where it can be most impactful, that's smart. and it's it's, it's it's the right thing to do. As I've grown uh, to be and become the man that I am today, you start to understand what's important and you start to understand like at the end of the day what you want your story to be. Yeah. You talk about black fathers, well, the conversation of good black fathers, um, you know, it doesn't happen enough. It's it very doesn't. far, few and in between. And amazing mothers uh, there are and they should be celebrated yes. often, right? Not weekly, not monthly. Often, you cannot get it done without him. The help of a dad uh, that understands his presence is needed, I think is, uh, is, is necessary just to be amplified because that's something that you have to feed off of. You need that energy. You need to hear other men be celebrated and doing the task of. It makes it cooler, it makes yeah. it better. And it also makes those that may not be doing it to the best of their ability wanna change and wanna, wanna navigate in that space differently. I hope that within my actions and within you know the world of what I put on display, I hope it encourages other uh, fathers out there to do the same.